two truancy officers believe the recent death of young Brittany Batiste could have been avoided. Brittany's body was found near her residence in St. Paul's. Subsequent autopsy results indicate that she died as a result of strangulation. School attendance officer Ernest Richardson says Brittany Batiste was among at-risk students being monitored to ensure that she attended school. Richardson calls her death untimely but says that though tragic, it should serve as an example to communities to be more vigilant and protective of the younger generation. It's, it's sad to say that you know she ended up in that way. If we take measures in place, probably things like that would not have happened. Okay, so we are going out there to sensitize the public and to ensure that all the at-risk children in every community attend school regularly on time. As part of the Every Child in School campaign, Rich Hudson and another education ministry officer are roving throughout vulnerable communities, bringing attention to issues of truancy and how parents and the community at large can play a part in its eradication. Every community member, because it takes a community to, to raise a child, okay? So we are going out there with this message to ensure that all boys and girls in Grenada ensure that they get an education. It's their right. Several communities have been identified for special attention, including Grand Anse Valley, Telescope, Cloche, and Rose Hill. School attendance officer Roland Hood said the state has already exhausted any safety net assistance it can provide and that it is now up to parents to play their part. Yes, the state is doing a lot and I must congratulate the state because I must quote for statistical purposes that some years ago when, when the treasury was checked in St. George's alone in excess of $66,000 was being given for transportation alone. That's the state's function. Where's daddy? Where's mommy? Each of us are stakeholders in some way, whether big or small. So we can't sit back and say, well, I know money, so we sit on our lawyers and we have responsibilities. The general public is being reminded that it is an offence to hinder any child from attending school and anyone found guilty can be fined $1,000 or placed on bond not exceeding $1,000. Colin Campbell, GBN News.